Hi, so now we're in the 2019-2020 Model 3 and we're going to do a sound comparison test. So it's going to be a bit of a silent movie for some of this. I've got a decimeter here. I'm going to place it on the centre console armrest in the same place in the same cars. The cars have got the same tyres, they've got the same size wheels. So this would be a really interesting comparison between the previous Model 3 and the new 2021 Model 3 with the double pane glass. Let's see how we go. Okay, so this is going to be a 30 miles an hour test to begin with. So I'm going to reset this, accelerate to 30 and hold it for a few seconds. We'll measure the average and the maximum and see how it reads. So we're going to go quiet when the next car passes, wait for a van. Okay, let's reset. Okay, so we're traveling at 30 miles an hour, let's reset. Okay, what did we average there? 74 decibels of 85 as a maximum. Okay, the next test is going to be to sorry to 60 and hold it there. So let's check for clear road. Let's go. Okay, so 60 miles an hour, we had an average of 75 decibels and a maximum of 83. Let's do a repeat run just for making sure it's consistent and reset. Now slowing to 30. So 74, 75 is an average of 30. One more reset. You can see one difficulty I have now is I turned the heating and the fans off on the cars to make sure they didn't interfere at all. But of course we started misting up. <laughs> so let's head back and we'll try the 2021 model, see how that compares with the same test, the same time of day, same temperatures. Okay, so now I'm in the 2021 Model 3 with a double pane glass. We're going to run exactly the same test, we're on the same tyres, the same road, the same time of day, the same temperatures, and I've put our decimeter in the middle here in the same place. So it'd be interesting to see if these, this glass makes a difference. Let's have a go. Okay, so I'm going to reset this, I'm going to accelerate to 30 and be nice and quiet throughout. So let's go.
do a reset and carry on at 30. Okay, reset on a different road surface now. Okay, so this is we're averaging out 75 decibels. So the next one will be a 60 miles an hour test. Let's go straight into that. We have 78. There's not a great deal of difference. So let's now repeat the test in reverse for consistency. Let me just put out this junction. I wouldn't say there's a massive noticeable difference. I don't know how much would be psychological difference, how much would be real difference, but we'll soon find out. So I'm going to roll straight into a 60 miles an hour test now, so I'm going to reset. So now coming down to 30 miles an hour, let's reset, and there's 30. So it's quite consistently at 75. Does it make a difference if this is not on the console? One last reset at 30 miles an hour, and here we go. So that bit was averaging at 73. Okay, let's put that together. So I have to say, it doesn't feel vastly different. Um, I think if you just put me from one to the other, I wouldn't, I wouldn't guess a difference. I wouldn't go, crikey, one, one is a lot quieter than the other. But um, you could possibly say it is, and I, I think it'd be good to try on lots of different road surfaces, of course. And, um, keep trying to test so maybe we'll continue to do that if time allows um, but yeah it's an interesting comparison it's um, it's definitely not a night and day difference between a 2020 and a 2021 so I wouldn't be too uh, upset with either car they're both very quiet cars on the road of course and um, uh, nothing that really stands out as a huge noticeable difference I have to say um, but I hope that's been interesting thank you very much